very strong Q2, as you indicated, our first billion dollar quarter and 54% year over year growth. We saw strength in our up market in the enterprises with, as evidenced by things like we saw an upsell with a financial services company, which became our new largest customer, and also very proud of the performance with Zoom Phone, which crossed over the 2 million seat mark. What we're seeing though, which is evidenced by the guidance, is headwinds in our mass market. So these are individual consumers and small businesses. And as you say, they are now moving around the world. People are taking vacations again. They're going to happy hours in person. And as we came through the back half of Q2, um, we started to see some additional um, churn there. And that's what's evidenced in our guidance for the rest of the year. And that's what I think you're, you're seeing in the reaction to the stock. I think the big concern is the declining growth in revenue coming from customers with 10 or fewer people. How, how big of, a, of your revenue does that make up? How, how many of your customers are kind of fall into that category? Yeah, so um, in Q2, that was approximately 36% of our revenue. That was up significantly from pre-pandemic, or was about 20% of our revenue. And while, as I mentioned, we are seeing headwinds here, we know that people have built Zoom into their lives and that we are here to stay. It's just a transition period that we're going through right now. Again, as people are enjoying being out in the world, which we, of course, love to see. And this is the segment of our business that has been the most reactionary and volatile, depending on what's happening with you know, vaccine availability, as well as pandemic flare-ups around the globe. And so we've seen this in previous quarters as well. Um, but we're, again, seeing it a little stronger in the back half of Q2, which is being forecast into the rest of the year. Big companies have talked about how they are putting off plans to bring workers back as we continue to watch the Delta variant kind of roll through the country and cases climb. Is, is that not the case with, with smaller companies where they feel like maybe they can control it with 10 or fewer people? Yeah, I think a lot of this is individuals and it's, you know, really small businesses that are, for example, maybe um, a yoga studio that feels safe enough. They put precautions in place that they're able to welcome people back into their doors. And as you say, in the upmarket, big companies, we see lots of strength as people are preparing to eventually welcome their employees back into the office. But doing things like Zoom Rooms, which is our conference solution saw attach rates uh, double from Q1 to Q2 as organizations are thinking about that and preparing for it. But as they continue to keep their employees safe, we you know, continue to provide and are happy to support organizations as, as work is becoming not a place any longer, but a space where all of us are joining from anywhere.